there are enough rules in life as it is. Some, however, are there to help. Like the rules that govern how to dress well. Of course, every man or woman who has an opinion on such things speaks from personal experience, and no doubt what works for one doesn't always work for another. Welcome to Men's World, subscribe, and let's dive in. Number 1. Wear a suit well. The key to a suit looking good is fit. If you're buying off the peg, focus on the fit across the shoulders, because getting the chest and waist altered is a relatively easy job, according to Davide Tao, head of bespoke suits at Save Iro Taylor Geeves and Hawks. Be cautious about wearing a period suit unless you're pursuing a total period look, because in isolation the suit starts to look like a novelty. He adds, classic is best and most useful dark, two-button, single-breasted, moderate in details. It's not boring. A suit is a uniform. The idea is to think of this suit as a canvas to build different ideas of individuality. It's the way you wear it, not the label inside, that impresses. Number 2. Invest wisely in a watch. A watch is like a piece of art, argues Don Cochran, managing director of British watch brand Vertex. Choose it because you love it, not because you think it might make money. Watches are personal, it marks your passage through time. But you also have to be practical. Aesthetic, functional, rugged sports models go with anything and can take the hard knocks of everyday wear. Yet, a watch still has to fit you. It should feel comfortable and be right in terms of size and depth relative to your wrist, as well 40mm is considered the Goldilocks size. Number 3. Don't shy away from colour. Whether it's on casual wear or formal wear, indulge in a bit of colour. Most men aren't justly scared of it, they're intimidated by anything that isn't navy or grey, says menswear designer Oliver Spencer. But colour can be timeless too. A green suit, for example, can look particularly rakish, while Spencer also recommends pinks, greens, mustard, and brighter shades of blue as especially versatile year-round shades that will lift your entire outfit. But he adds that, when it comes to colour, less is still more. You just need a bit of it, in one garment. Number 4. Wear your jeans until they are yours. The all-time most useful cut of the world's most popular garment, according to Alex Meir, co-owner of Sheffield-based label Forge Denim, is slim tapered. It's wider in the thigh, so it's comfortable, but narrows, so it works with either smart shoes or sneakers. He advises, it's the best year-round, wear with anything, dress up or down style. The wise will wear dark, raw denim too and give the pre-distressed a wide berth. The whole pleasure of denim is that it ages with the way you wear it. Why miss out on that? Number 5. Embrace versatile outerwear. Outerwear is not just about protection from the elements, it's also a significant style statement. Invest in versatile pieces that can adapt to various occasions. A well-fitted leather jacket, for instance, can effortlessly transition from a casual day out to a semi-formal evening event. Similarly, a classic trench coat adds a touch of sophistication to your ensemble. Opt for neutral colors like black, brown, or navy to ensure easy coordination with the rest of your wardrobe. Versatile outer wear pieces are not just practical, they're timeless, enhancing your style in any setting. Number 6. Keep your underwear simple. Style isn't only what everyone else can see. When it comes to men's underwear, there are two rules to follow. 1. Novelty prints are not for grown men, your underwear is not the place to express your personality, as shirt and underwear maker Emma Willis notes. And 2. Heavily branded underwear lacks sophistication. Of all places where you might have the confidence not to have branding, your underwear should be it. Adds Willis, the style that has best stood the test of time, of course, is the cotton boxer short or boxer brief. Likely because, as is the case with linen, they take repeated washing, breathe well, and are comfortable against your skin. Number 7. Spend money on shoes. Timelessness is about simple design, and all the more so with shoes, argues Tim Little, owner of heritage shoe brand Granson. The color, the pattern, the sole, you don't want it fussy. Anything fussy may look good now, but will look strange very quickly. Quality shoes, the gold standard being Ray saleable Goodyear welted examples are the kind of investment that should last 15 years or more. Opt for classic styles such as the jumper boot from Merkvist or classic brogues, loafers, or a plain, dark, five-eyelet derby on a round toe last, 
But don't forget about finding quality dress socks as well. It's the shape of the toe that counts and round never goes out of fashion, says Little. It's pointy toes or square toes that look impractical. Nobody has feet shaped like that. Number 8. Keep accessorizing to a minimum. Accessories like ties and pocket squares bring individuality to classic clothing, but be careful how you use them. It's best to harmonize them with what you're wearing by picking out a color or two, or even to juxtapose them entirely, says Michael Hill, creative director of men's accessories brand Drake's. What you don't want is to match them up. When it comes to curating shirt and tie combinations, wear your tie or pocket square in a darker shade than your jacket. And don't overdo the accessories either if in doubt. Think less is more and take one element away. You're aiming for an air of nonchalance, adds Hill. You just need one point of interest. Number 9. Know thyself. There are few things less stylish than a man dressed as he thinks he should dress, rather than in what he genuinely feels suits who he is. There are caveats to that, of course. There are no prizes for dressing like a rodeo clown unless indeed you are one. But whatever you're wearing, you have to own it. Genuine style icons are those who go their way with self-confidence that comes from their clothes being a second skin, not a costume. Number 10. Dress for the setting. Style is not merely about self-expression. It's also about being dressed appropriately for your environment. Think of clothes as being coats. You need the right combination to work with the setting you're in, and that's whether it's a formal dinner or a lazy Sunday in the pub. The worst style is one that is out of place. Is this a kind of conformity? No, as one of Tom Ford's off-trotted out fashion quotes explains, it's a mark of respect for others and about feeling comfortable in yourself. When in doubt, overdress. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and follow for more.